Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions on one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nice having you in class again today, how have you been? On today's video, we are going to show you how to plot um, latitude and longitude coordinates on um, Excel, right? Good. How to, if it were a GISM package, it would have been how to import these um, latitude and um, longitude um, coordinates so that we can see it on a map or let's say on the base map right good so we are going to have a base map here on excel and then we are going to plot these um points on excel to locate where some of these um, federal universities are right good so the first thing is that um, let's actually create a standard table from excel so we highlight them um, all of the cells or so, yeah we highlight all of the cells that contain our data then under the home tab we come to what format as table right good so we can quickly convert a range of cells to a table with its own with its own style so click on this drop down select which one you want so let's say we want to use them um, something like um, this then we click on ok right good so since we might not need to filter this um, our top data, we can decide to keep it out or you can still what, leave it there, right? Good. So let's just um, put it out. The next thing is for us to now come down to what insert what the, the base map, right? Good. So let's call it the base map. Next thing is for us to insert the base map. So we come down to insert, then we go to what 3D maps. Now under the 3D maps, let's um, click on this drop down and then select what open 3D maps. Good. So we have what the 3D maps opened. Now one thing you need to note is that um, you need internet connection for it, and then this map is actually sponsored by Bing, right? Good. So now this is like the base map we want to work with. You can see you would use what these um direction buttons or let's say this direction key is what to navigate right good you can also use your mouse to move it around and you know zoom in zoom out to wherever your points of interest is right good now let's look at a few things here this is the field list you can see the field list from what this bar we can decide to put it out we can decide to put out this layer panel or let's say the layer pin right we can also decide to put out what this um, tour editor right so we can put them back on the layer pane and then maybe the field list however we don't really need the field list so let's put that one out another thing to note is that this uh, map is like what um, the globe not flat so if you want to see the globe maybe in a flat map or maybe if you want to see it in a flat map you can choose to use what flat map so when you use the flat map the globe will now be projected as though it's on a plane right good so more like um, you can still use this for an explanation when you want to maybe project the globe on a plane surface right good so that's what the flat map so now let's take it back to how it is like based on let's put this out good let's um, keep it back like this right good so all right then um, when you zoom in you can see that there are no labels we are trying to work with what some federal universities in nigeria however we don't know where these points are because these points are actually the points that um, indicate the federal universities so let's um, put on map labels when we put on map labels you can see what the map is being labeled right good so you can know that okay this point falls within this location this point falls within this location and maybe some other stuff that you can see there right good now let's come down more to what we can do with the data we have what we have imported maybe trying to make it more beautiful now under the um, the layer pane you can see data you can see filters and then you can see layers option right with layer options now what this um, data does is that okay what this location under data does is that it's now trying to tell us that how do we want to identify those points on this our base map remember that okay let's move this somewhere yeah 
good now remember that we have different fields we have the name the address city state zip code the country the full address then um, the latitude and the longitude and we know basically that the latitude and the longitude are the geographical coordinates or are the geographical attributes that we have on this particular database if we want to call it a database which means it will be very easy or it will be easier for us to locate these names using what this um, latitude and longitude right good so under this um, location tab if we decide to choose country we might find it difficult to locate where those federal universities are but if we decide to use either latitude or longitude we can easily locate where those points are because those um, latitude and longitude attributes will now help us to geolocate where they are now let's say for instance now the field that has been automatically indicated by um, Excel is latitude and then you have different fields that maybe you want to select from if Excel had not automatically selected the longitude to fill in that longitude space you can use the drop down to now like select longitude for it however if it has been done then there is no problem so let's say for instance on your field you have something like x or maybe you have another denotation for your longitude and perhaps excel was unable to filter it to know that that is actually longitude you can come down to this drop down and then select longitude so that it now match with what what excel wants to be used as what as longitude are we together good so i haven't done that you can still see that okay if maybe you're using what your x and y coordinates to um, to indicate what your longitude and your latitude you can know that okay for longitude we can use them um, x or maybe for latitude we can use what y right good so that's just an explanation how these um how this location works so you can use what the address if you want to use address you can select what from this drop down what you want to use what as the address is it the full address now you can see for the address here it is using street but if you want to use what full address you can just select what full address so now let's come back to our latitude and what our longitude the next thing is now that how do we want these are points to be indicated here if we zoom in we can see that the points are actually indicated in form of what a square right good so if we decide to change it what to like the visualization to what clustered column we have something like this more like no much difference right good now let's change it to something like um, heat map you now see that there is what a difference we now have something like a square now the size of this um, position or let's say the size of this um, data visualization can also be what can also be changed right good now let's move from the heat map to what the the start column once more we will come down to the start column which actually represents our points in form of what um, a square we can still decide to work on the height let's say we want to use this and then you now see that the height has been what the height has been protruded right good so now there's a point where you can either reduce or increase this what exaggeration good so for you to now um, increase or maybe reduce the same um, exaggeration of these heights that indicate this point we can come down to the layer option then under layer option we can see height you see that as i toggle through the what the slider the elevation or let's say the height of those points are actually what they're actually changing so you can use this word to either make it more pronounced or reduce it completely to the plane right good so these are some uh, modifications you can do for those points you can also work on the opacity how they are being let's say how they show on the map so if you want them to be faint you can reduce it if you want them to go off completely you can take it to zero or maybe you can leave it at what 100 percent right good so these are some things that um, you can actually do with what your data let's um, take this um, latitude off the height field let's also delete this good so we can actually put these um, points in or let's say these um, universities in different categories right good so let's say we want to have um 
let's say for instance we have different um, universities in a particular state and let's say since we have like three in a state we want to show all of those three with a with a unique color we can do that however since the universities are actually spread across and then we don't usually have or we don't actually have on our database maybe more than one or maybe two universities or three in a particular state we can now use maybe the individual universities as what the criteria for what the selection right good so now let's put it on that category now under the category add data fields you want to visualize as categories yeah let's click on the add and then we want to use name as what the field which means that um, the different um, schools which like the names are their primary key would have what different um, colors to visualize their data right good so when you click on what the name you can still use any other primary field you want to use, maybe any other field rather you want to use to now have what the colors forward for the different schools right good so you now see that each of those schools have different colors and then with those colors with those colors you can see how um they are actually stand out this was because of what the height that each of those schools have based on what we've actually done earlier right good so let's say uh, move this out these are some things that um, you can still do with your data let's take it back to it you now see what happens when we are using what heat map as what the visualization of what for the visualization of our data right good You see what happens to what the color scale as we toggle through the slider, right? Let's take it back to the unread it was. Good. Same with the opacity. You can either make it brighter or maybe reduce it. The color, if you want to leave it under custom, sorry, if you want to leave it under default, you can, or maybe you can customize it to what you want, right? Good. Now, the data card, the data card is actually what shows the properties of the features when you toggle, or let's say when you over your mouse around each of those points, right? Good. Now, let's click on customize. By default, when you over your mouse around it, you see the latitude the longitude and then the name right good so you can decide to add more field if you want to add more field maybe perhaps the state so let's say we want to add the state to it so when we over the mouse on the point the latitude longitude the name and the state but basically we can decide to take out the latitude and the longitude because we actually don't need them so instead we just say we need what the states and then the names and the states right good so now let's click on ok good so now let's change our visualization to what the stack column once more so that when we over the mouse around it you can now see what the data card which what shows the the name and what the state right good good so these are basically some things you can use with those your data right good and then when you bring in this um, 3d maps you can actually play around it you know see how much or how well you can customize each of these your points and the more aesthetics you can give to what to your data presentation let's say to the presentation of your map right so basically you can put on or put off what sorry put off or put on what the map labels you can actually change the map to either projected like projecting on a flat plane or maybe leaving it as a globe i know you can also find locations and you know do some other stuff then you can change the exaggeration of the points that you have on your what on your base map and then change the colors by categories and do some other stuff so we believe that um, we've actually provided solution to this um, solving problem on how to use them um, excel to actually um import let's use a base map on excel and then import some points on it so that you can see how they are presented so we are going to see you on our subsequent video until then keep staying safe and have a very good time bye